about uh, the comment made by youth, and I had said at a previous forum, um, it's very interesting in the Caribbean that uh, we talk about the enabling environment, we talk about setting ICTs for the future, yet I pretty much doubt anyone connected to the call uh, may be an avid user of Canva or HubSpot or even TikTok. And that's really where uh, the trends are going when you look at markets and when you look at uh, tools and platforms that young people are using to actually generate uh, real wealth to monetize uh, what we may seem to think would be uh, just entertainment, but actually bringing real value to that. So how can we encourage our Caribbean youth uh, to be part of that and not just use uh, these global platforms, but innovate and create their own platforms and solutions and have that uh, be a, a reference on a global scale. So I believe that we have really touched on a number of very useful discussions that we will go back with. Um, and I look forward to what we will be discussing on day two of these activities, which is on June the 2nd, when we're really going to unpack in a more detailed way uh, all of the questions of data. So data is the hot item, it's the big ticket issue. Uh, we're not just talking about uh, data protection, we're going to look at the security concerns, we're going to look at governance, and governance of data is one of the things that I'm personally fascinated with because uh, depending on where you find yourself in a geopolitical uh, scheme, uh, that governance question is often uh, let's say, uh, influenced uh, for geopolitical concerns as opposed to really indigenous um, concerns and uh, issues that we are facing. So, so that's something I think that we can all look forward to. Um, I'd like to thank everyone again for coming out and attending this morning's uh, activities and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll hand over to uh, Niger. Thank you, thank you very much, Kevin. Um... You've, um, I think, summed up the day's proceedings pretty well. There's just one thing I would like to mention, Rodney, specifically related to WTDC. Um, when Cecil spoke, he, he harked back to a former initiative, Connect the Americas, where we got um, governments and donor agencies and private sector and so on together. Uh, in, the, in this upcoming WTDC, there is the partner to connect Digital Development Roundtable. Um, and this is a coalition of the same, those same sorts of stakeholders that are going to be expected in, in, in Kigali. And they are there to have this summit basically to work together and make pledges of resources and uh, expertise to global uh, digital development. Um, that would enhance the I guess the resources available to the ITU after the WTDC. And the fact that we in the Caribbean have gotten our uh, development priorities into the Americas proposals, and we fully expect that they will be recognized and accepted at the WTDC. We, we hope to find that with these additional pledges that we would be able to access more resources and expertise out of the ITU to meet our own um, development goals in the in the in the what in this period which the WTDC covers. So I think that's an an additional element to the value of participating in WTDC. And if even people at this late stage are not able to um, travel to Kigali, there is the opportunity as well to participate remotely. So you are encouraged to do that. Thank you very much. And just a few um, remarks as well, uh, Inar, from, on, from Arin's perspective. I understand Bevel may have uh, dropped off, but uh, please, by all means. Thank you, Rodney. Uh, building on the uh, discussion on, on industry or private sector and civil society participation, I'd like to let people know and, and would like to figure out how to share. Um, we, we have a grant program at Arin, and with Diplo, uh, Diplo did a study of SDO participation by governments and industry in the Aaron region. And that's available on our website. It's a I would, I would love to make that available to, um, to the CTU and to, to attendees. We'll figure out how to make that happen. And then just to echo um, also the comments made about looking forward to next week. What a great day today was. And I look forward to uh, further discussion on other topics. 
Thank you, Secretary General. My pleasure, and thank you all for participating today. This has been Advancing Caribbean Digital Development Within a Changing Global Context. And I think we did touch on some very critical points in that respect. Thanks for your participation. See you next week, same time. And don't forget to register for the cryptocurrency webinar that follows on June the 3rd. Thank you all very much for your participation today. Thank you, SG. Thank you for the inclusion. And thank you. everyone said it was a very good and valuable discussion. All right. Thank you, Mavis. All right. See you in Wishing you all a productive, productive day. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye. Check it um, for a message from me, please, Rob.